Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us this morning as we do the direct mail inspiration featuring Trish Witkowski of Fold Factory. Good morning, Trish. Good morning. Good to see you. Thank you for doing this with us today. Uh, we are intending to focus on simple, uh, effective, and available direct mail templates that we will be making available uh, to you after the meeting if you express some interest either through marketing at bulgerinc.com or by contacting your Bulger sales representative. But we're excited to see what Trish has in store for us. It's gonna contain some pieces that I believe you can use to help your business recover strong as we begin to reopen our economy. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Trish and let's get, the, let's get the show going here, Trish. Awesome, thanks, Eric. It's really fun to be here. Welcome everyone to my studio in Maryland. Um, I actually thought it might be kind of fun to share with everybody a little tour of um, the studio. I actually shoot all my video and um, still shots and, and other sorts of video here. So um, I just thought you might kind of come along for the ride here. Um, this is where I shoot Fold of the Week and this is my camera um, and it has a shotgun mic and a tripod and so this is my little reflector. I have lights that um, hit the reflector and then this is my famous table and chair that I sit at to shoot and my uh, fake plant. I get a lot of questions actually about is the plant real or fake so yes that's a fake plant um, and then this is my um, this is where I do all my still shots and magic hands videos so I have lights I have a ring light and cameras that switch in and out up here and then uh, shooting down onto the table so I just thought it would be kind of fun to share that with everybody this is where I do a lot of my work. So um, as Eric said, I've got a lot of kind of what I call low budget wonders and direct mail strategies for everybody today. And I'm really focused on things that can help you get the most bang for your buck. Um, and so I'm going to start simple. I'm going to show you a lot of interesting things today. Um, so some of my favorite just simple mail strategies, uh, this is one from Target. And all it is is kind of two panels. There's a little die cut half circle here and um, it's just bold. I really like the layout. I love just the white space and the simplicity of this. I love the curve and of course this glues down to mail, uh, mailing panel on the back. Um, just simple and clean. Uh, I thought you guys would like that. Um, this piece is, is actually a two panel piece as well, a folded self mailer. Um, think of this as two panels glued together and it has a perf right here. Um, and it says, look inside to give your friends and family free movies. And it's just a fun way to open. You peel it, it's perf, and you just peel and open. This one also had little cards that you also peel off, but not a requirement. Um, but, you know, this could totally be tabbed and sent through the mail, but I love that they just created a more fun way, an interactive way to get into the piece. So just simple and easy. This is another one that is also a self-mailer for anybody out there uh, doing higher ed campaigns. Um, this one is so full. They've got some fluorescent um, ink as well going on. It's got a lot of pop. Um, this is Cleveland State University. This is their mascot for the sports teams. And so it's just, it's fun. It's got a creative shape. That's a little die cut creative shape. And then it's just two panels that open, but bold, colorful, um, simple, and just, I love how this kind of closes, and here's your mailing panel on the back. So just simple, clean, self-mailers, bright colors, um, lots of fun. Um, this piece is actually, this was a door drop, but I think this translates really well for mail. So um, think of this kind of like a trifold where the fold-in panel is glued down. So it opens up like this. They've also got some nice little special print effects going on too. Um, always nice things you can do. But think of that fold-in panel as glued down, and then they just left, you know, areas open for these pull tabs. You pull to open. And so it's just, I love the noise it makes. <laughs> and the engagement of, you know, kind of question answer or whatever. But this would very easily translate to mail um, and just clean and simple. I really like this one. This one is actually a Bolger sample, and um, I like it because it's, it's just a simple card billboard, a uh, large card mailer, and this has a little tipped-on ruler. And so 
you know, people see it and they find it interesting. They peel it off. They keep it. Um, there's something really nice about that. And yet very simple mail format. Um, these I believe did mail in a clear envelope, but you could see this and I love lumpy mail. You could feel this, see it, peel it off. Um, this is the mailing panel on the back, just simple and easy and giving people something to do and something to hang on to, which um, I really, really like. Um, one of the easiest kind of most effective mail formats is actually a letter letter mail and um what is really nice about this one is they've used full color i see so many times um you know kind of not leveraging the envelope and really the most expensive piece of mail is the one that doesn't get opened so think about the envelope as much as you're thinking about the contents um, and so this one is for the why, a great use of people, eye contact, people connect with people. Very hard not to open this once you see the picture on the outside. Um, love the full color use, open it up. Full color letter with, again, more people and eye contact. Just making a personal connection. This one has a response mechanism that's tear off on the bottom as well just really nicely done and i also like on the back it says push what's possible just you know reinforcing the message so really really nice just simple mailer uh for you know just a nice letter mailer i love that um another really nice opportunity right now as of course a lot of us are trying to motivate sales is to send a coupon. So um, I have some coupon mailers to share, uh, lots of different strategies here and ways to be creative. Um, this was actually uh, this week's Fold of the Week, um, and this is from Boulder. I actually featured both of these samples because I liked them so much. Very, very simple. Um, this is for uh, Tommy Hilfiger as the client, and these are just simple folded self mailers. Here's the fold at the bottom. That's the mailing panel. Opens up. And there's just, it's two panels with one little short flap basically here that's glued down. And the coupon is actually three sides already cut out and it's got a micro perf right here. So you've already almost kind of cut it out for everyone. All they have to do is pull that last little pull to get this out. I love the little bit of lift you get just because this piece is glued down and this piece is free. Um, so you get a touch of dimensionality as you're opening it. I also think it's great design, a lot of focus. Um, you've got a bold image and then a lot of focus on this coupon. So this is a single coupon mailer. And the reason I featured both is that they have two variations of one concept. So this one, uh, also a folded self mailer. Hope you can see that. And then there's a flap on this one. So this one opens a little more like an envelope. It has an envelope flap. And then it folds down. So this one just has the extra flap here and it has an extra card. So this one is a basically a two up card versus a single. And I really like how this is again cut out, got a little bit of dimension, and you've got the cutout, you can just pull it out, perfect right out, and use it. Again, bold image, simplicity here that just draws your eye right in and you know an awesome way to motivate sales with a coupon so i just love love this one and this one um this is another one that's a simple coupon mailer this was from m t bank um little folded self mailer mailing panel on the back but this one is neat because it actually has no glue at all this is literally just a double parallel fold so watch this so double parallel and half and in half well, what they did is they took that last panel and they made that just basically a coupon. So a little coupon stands up on its own and then you just open like this. And so the coupon is just so easy to tear out um, from a production standpoint, so easy. Um, so I, th I just particularly love this as well because of its simplicity um, in production as well as they've got that coupon just standing right out there the moment that you open this. So love this one too. This one is Tommy Bahama. I think Tommy Bahama as a brand does an outstanding job um, with their direct mail. They really 
use a lot of bold graphics. They're brand, they carry the brand and the tropical feel of their brand through all of their materials, um, which I really, really like. And this piece looks exactly like a printed envelope. You can even see the little bit of taper on the square flap. It looks exactly like a square flap um, envelope. But here's the mailing panel. But look at this. It's, a, it's actually a folded self mailer. This panel right here is folded up and glued and it's got a plastic gift card in here. Like, so the gift cards here, there's a window in this little panel and this is glued down. And so it's kind of framing it. Hope everybody can see. I know it's kind of hard to describe, but there's a flap right here glued down and there's a plastic card in here in a window. So I love the simplicity of this and um, just neat how they, how they give out the, the gift card that way. And yet it looks like an envelope mailer. So, so actually it just happened to this week get another piece from them. I guess we buy a lot of Johnny Bahama these days um, or in the past or whatever, but they did this. This is actually an envelope mailer. Um, also bright and fun and eye-catching, which I really, really like. Um, but this one opens up and it's got a very simple kind of single card with a tipped on plastic coupon or gift card or whatever you want to call it. But, but this is nice too, like wonderful eye-catching envelope, simple card with a bright, bold matching message and a tipped on um, plastic gift card. Simple, really nicely done, and, um, you know, carries through with what they're doing. Of course, I got an email as well. You know, they, they definitely kind of coordinate all of that, which is important. Um, but really, really nice gift card delivery format. Um, and then this one I wanted to show for anybody who does long run. Um, I, I think this certainly, I mean, any format can be done for a short run as well, but um, sometimes it's hard to find formats that are truly great for long run um, mail applications. And so I love this one um, in particular. So this one also um, is personalized and um, also we're actually the, the Tommy Hilfinger ones were also personalized. But um, so I want you to kind of watch how this works. This opens up. Keep your eye right here. So it opens up and the coupon is sliding out as I'm opening it. It's got metallic on it, so I hope it's not catching too much glare, but it has metallic ink on it and it is in a pocket. So see this right here? Think of this as a trifold where this panel is then glued up on the two sides to make a pocket, okay? This coupon is attached by a little flap to this top panel. So as it's, so it's down in the pocket when it's closed. Sorry, I'm stuck on it. There we go. It's down in the pocket when it's closed. Now watch the side. When it's opening, see how this is pulling the coupon out? Okay, and then the coupon comes out and it's personalized and whatever, and it tears off. So this is a little perk. So, the format, the base format actually is, you know, kind of a trifold with a little glued pocket. This fold-in panel has two sides glued to make a pocket. Then this is tipped on and slides in. So, and this is all done. I mean, this one was all done in line. Um, and so obviously could be done in a shorter run, um, would be more handwork and stuff. But, um, you know, this type of thing is really, really cool and, engaging and dimensional um, on the long run side. So I thought this one was particularly interesting from a gift card coupon perspective. Okay, what's next? Oh my gosh, I have so many things to share. Uh, let's see, oh, I forgot to show this one too. Whoops, I had one more for simple um, that I had set aside and I forgot to share. So I wanna show you guys this one because um, this one actually mailed it in an envelope but it was a big hit on Fold of the Week and um, continues to be when I take it on the road. And that's because it's, it's such a simple format and a great idea visually. Um, so this piece, think of it like two large cards um, with an eyelet. That's all this is, two cards stacked with an eyelet. And I'll read it to you. It says, fun times are brewing at Eagle's Trace. And it says, turn this bottle upside down. <laughs> yeah, 
right? So all you're doing is making somebody pour themselves a glass of beer. All that is. So this went into an envelope. This one in particular um, was an event invitation, but it certainly makes you think about how can you make a couple of images interact with each other. Um, so anyway, this was just two cards with an eyelet into an envelope. Um, very fun and engaging and simple. So I wanted to make sure you guys saw that one too. Um, okay, let's see. How about, I have, a, I have some other um, folded self mailers and direct mailers that I love that involve die cuts, but that are also still quite simple. Um, I tried to group these into all different categories. And so, so um, that's what I like about this category. So um, this one I love. This one did go into um, a number 10 envelope. Um, this one was for MGM casinos, but I love how this works. It's a simple die cut, but it, and oh, and this one also has a gift card shopping spree. Okay. Um, so it opens like this, looks simple. And then I love that basically this panel then folds down to reveal a message. So all this is, is this, then this. But what I really like about it is there's a lot of control over how you want people to view the information. And that's one of the keys when you're really um, thinking about format choice for anything is what, how do you want to reveal your information? How do you want people to experience it? And what was neat with this is this had a lot of, you know, mandatory logos and, you know, other kind of detail information about, about it. And I love that they could get the first message in, you know, and then get to kind of a secondary reveal of the next round of content. So, so smart and simple. And um, the, the, the agency that did this, they said they use this format so often because, and you know, I could see where you might kind of have a whole campaign of these and each one has a strong message and a reveal and a message and a reveal. You know, it's, it's such a practical format that you could use in lots of different ways. Um, and so love it, love the proportion for mail. Um, and I think this one also went in like a shimmery envelope too. So they did something kind of fancy with the envelope and then they put this format in. So um, I just think it's really brilliant. So I thought you guys would like that one, that one I really like. Um, this one kind of somewhat similar. This one's a folded self mailer, but I also like, um, the simplicity of this in that you're getting the feel kind of of an iron cross almost without committing to the full iron cross fold. Um, cause I like a full iron cross fold, the plus shape, those are very hard to nest on a sheet. They, you know, they're, they're just, they, they can be kind of difficult. And so what I really like about this, here, this is a folded self mailer, mailing panel this way, flip, um, is that this one opens like this and has a little gatefold reveal that then opens like this. So, you're, so you're, essentially it's kind of a T cross, so it makes like a T shape, but I, I like the size and proportion, and I like that you still get a mini little gate reveal without having to do full overlapping panels. So a, a classic um, iron cross would have full panels that are, you know, go out and out and down, and you're getting that feeling of an iron cross, without the full extended panels and all the real estate, you get kind of a nice little gate reveal. Um, so, and yet you still can self mail because you still have the fold at the bottom and you still got, um, I love the proportion of this um, for folded self mail, just, and again, I, I think some of these formats, if you thought about campaigns and things is, you know, okay, you make that format, there's nothing, about it that can't be versatile with other forms of content. So if you invest in, you know, getting the die made on something, um, then, you know, you could use it again and again with different imagery. And then your customer starts to notice, you know, they see different bold image, different message. Oh yeah, I like this, you know, different, you can change up the colors, keep changing it, but then they start to, start to feel this format and this brand. Um, so I really, really like that one. Um, this is kind of taking that one just a little further. I just wanted to show you one more variation on this um, kind of similar uh, type of thing where you're using kind of a modified iron cross format. This one is nice because this is a true iron cross, but 
Um, it's got gate panels and it's um, male proportion. So I really like the rectangular. So many iron crosses are square and then you end up in, you know, hand sorting and all these other extra expenses that are, you know, you don't need to incur um, if you don't have to. Um, you know, so anyway, I like this one because it gates at the start and then it opens with a full panel top and bottom. So just kind of another interesting way to create that feeling, but also to use like half panels. I like the little gate opening on this one. Um, I just think it's got a really nice feel. So this one just kind of takes iron cross all the way there, but I like the male proportion. Um, and I like the gate uh, on, the, on the cover. So, um, and also opening it this way and then up down. So you can kind of play with the opening order as well. So um, I like that. Um, I also have this one in this category. <laughs> I don't know why, because there's no die cut on this one, but that's okay. This is still a really nice piece. Um, this one is Texas Tech. So this is another um, higher ed, but I like this kind of flap here. It's kind of nice to open it rather than a full panel. I like the flap. It kind of gets people interested. I like that they separated the message. Vastly new is on the short flap. And so that's kind of interesting too, because they drew your eye there and then you open. So think about where the eye goes. Um, and then this one opens up and um, this one's neat because this is a wrap accordion. So let me show you guys, here we go. Wrapped accordion, um, you know, machine foldable. Um, I like how you get kind of this really nice reveal. This one has a very cool uh, layout. Um, nice reveal, but I also like that, you know, you can kind of follow through the content, um, but I also like the pullout. I like that it folds down and that this is a totally self-mailing type of a format. So accordion folds, um, you can't self-mail accordions, like a classic accordion, um, but if you add that extra wrap, um, then you can close an edge and you can mail it. So um, I like wrapped accordions for that reason. You can kind of wrap the edge and you can get still get that fun accordion reveal that people like so much. So um, I like that one a lot. I like them all though. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I want to go over here. Um, okay, so I've got some more. These are just some um, nice, just kind of more simple, nice things. I think I just put them in a pile to kind of I don't know, somehow organize them for myself. Um, okay, so this one is also um, a folded self mailer that I love because this one takes that same principle. Remember when I was showing you guys um, the M&T Bank one that had the coupon that lifted off a little bit, the green one? Um, this is almost the same concept minus the gift card, but you still get the lift in the dimension. So what I like about this is it had it's still a double parallel, as you can see kind of in half and then it's got the fold here too but they did a a die cut right here it says live justice it's for justice um clothing you can see here that they cut out the words live justice and that's the short panel and i love that it stands up because you can see this you know they also did tip on some coupons right here you know gracie Okay, so they tipped on some coupons right here, but I love this little detail. And all it's such a simple, simple format, but I love that as a folded self mailer. So that one I really think is great. Um, this is a really nice um, example of, this is a folded self mailer, it's another higher ed, um, but this is really neat because they also used some special effects. They used some, some foil, Hope you can kind of see the shine on that. Just detail stuff. Beautiful, lean little lines, clean lines of foil just to catch the eye. This also has a diagonal cut. Um, and this was glued down. This is a folded self mailer. This was glued down. Open it up and just a really nice, um, technically it's, just a, it's, a, it's a roll fold. Um, there's some perfs here to, for response, but you fold it up and up down and so classic basically roll fold with a simple die cut on the cover a little bit touch of foil to catch the eye feels special um this is for sports i think they're um this is a loyalty program they're getting people to get 
tickets. So it definitely has this sense of you are special. You know, this is for you. So I love the detail in that. And I love, I love this kind of break, the color break, the dimension, and um, the, the format is just simple and yet so effective. So I really, really like it. Um, let's see, this is just cute and again, simple. Um, this is also a double parallel. Again, I feel like I've shown a lot of kind of variations on double parallels, which is good. It's such a simple format. Um, this is a welcome to the neighborhood bank type of a thing. But, but all this is, is a double parallel. But what they did was this cute little neighborhood die cut. Can everybody see that? I hope you can see how that, see the little shape and it's like little cute little houses. And all this is, is a double parallel, as you can see, just double parallel right there. But really cute how you get this bit of dimension, these happy little houses. And, you know, you've got your interior content here and a little map with their locations. Just cute, simple, perfect for an envelope or also a literature stand. Um, nice to also create things that can have, you could do a version that's for mail and with a different, with an offer in it or something and a version that's for, um, you know, they do a different variation while you're running it, you know, and do a version that's for a literature holder or part of a series. So um, I like that. Um, this one is a folded self mailer that has been one of my, this long standing, one of my absolute favorites over the years. Um, this was, a, let me see, a casino, definitely. Um, folded self mail. It's got this fun kind of comic book feeling about it. That's the mailing panel. And um, it's for a special sweepstakes. Um, and I love how this one opens like this. And it's got these little, I'll, I'll call them violators, but they're little like graphic violators. And they swing out and show a message, each one does. But, but the magic in this is in kind of the, how it was put together. This is also a surprise, double parallel. I guess double parallels, uh, it seems like are some of the most vertical, or not vertical, versatile formats. Um, that you can use. So this is just a double parallel. See how this works? It's double parallel that is glued only at the bottom. And in gluing it just at the bottom, there's a little bit of lift. And so what happens is, see this little touch of dimension that you get? Um, because just the bottom is glued. So it's allowing these interior panels to release and lift just a little bit. And so we've got these little violators that are really fun and have these call outs. And then you get this dimension on what's in the window. Um, I just think it's so smart. And I love the kind of pow, smash, you know, it's just got this comic uh, superhero feel about it too. So, um, and again, this is a whole itself mailer. It's just, it's just brilliant. So um, I thought you guys would think that was really fun too. Um, I also have some just kind of looking at dimension. I think that's a nice little segue into a touch of dimension. Um, this piece is just a little piece um, that I've always liked. This has been in my collection. This was uh, Learner New York. It's a simple little white envelope, but it's actually not an envelope. I love these, these pieces that seem like they're um, envelope mailers that actually aren't. Um, this piece you open it up and fold it down. And it, I'll take it apart, it's this simple. This is what it actually is. You can see there's a die cut here and just a little L format pop-up that's going on and it's just cut out of this top area and it's just this little bit of dimensionality. And there's no glue, there's no anything, it's just a die cut and it, basically engages when you open it. And it's just this simple little, and they put it on this creamy, soft white and with gold, um, uh, metallic gold ink and black. And it's just dimensional and yet it feels like somebody sent you a little piece of, you know, personal mail, you know? It's just, I love the simplicity of how this works and yet it's kind of fascinating that you get that bit of, um, dimensionality. So um, this format I have seen ever since I showed it on um, episode 282 of Fold of the Week. I've had over 500 episodes now. Um, this 
piece I have seen done so many cool different ways. Um, and I and and uh, as Eric said, there's die lines. I have the die line for this type of format, and I'm happy to share that um, with Eric and the team. Um, this is so neat how this works. So this piece, basically, as you open it something slides out. So see how this works. There's a little angled fold inside. All this, it's one piece and there's a little angled fold that tucks in when it's closed and you kind of basically it creates almost like a little rectangle when it's open that's just engaged as you're opening it. It pulls open and then reveals. Now I've seen this now um, done as a business card, like a business card lifting out. Um, I've seen a wallet with money coming out. I've seen, you know, um, event, uh, neat things for events, inviting people to RSVP um, with like RSVP information. I've seen this in, I generally see it in a little bit longer rectangle, but um, this one, I just, I love this. And so I wanted to show you guys a variation on it. This one, is um, a double. So this one actually took it, flipped that element to the top and bottom so that this paperwork comes out top and bottom. It's the exact same mechanism as this one, just this couple of simple folds and one little diagonal fold and it tucks in behind and then it folds out. Super fun. I love that these can be small. They don't have to be huge. An elaborate, um, just fun, simple, dimensional. And I love, by the way, dimension plus movement. Um, it's just extra eye catching. So I love that you're just not expecting um, something to slide out. And um, speaking of not expecting something to slide out, the, the format with the most views um, on the Fold Factory YouTube channel um, is this format right here. And it has a funny surprise about it. And this one just continues to be um, a hit. So this one is episode 212 and it has the most views of any of the Fold of the Week videos. Um, and so it, it's, it's basically, it's a booklet. Like it's got a stitched booklet in it, but it also has a hand, <laughs> a hand that reaches out and gives you a business card. <laughs> Oh, I just never get enough of this one. Um, and so it's just fascinating the way this works, but it's, it's, it's got a little piece that slides out. This is the hand and it's got kind of an outer piece. And then there's the stitch book that's mounted kind of high. And then this just slides into a little pocket and through the back. And that's how it ends up coming through. And so it looks like it's this wide but the booklet is actually this wide. And that's because you need that extra space for the hand to work its way out. So, <laughs> so anyway, just kind of a really neat way to, to add dimension and movement. I just thought you guys would get a kick out of that one. Um, okay, let's see. I want to move to um, some, now that was a nice kind of segue into a multi-page type of a piece. Um, and so I, you can do this a couple of ways. One with, you know, a stitched type of a booklet. Um, uh, you can also do it with folding. So I'm going to show you a couple of different things. So that one was a stitched booklet, definitely a little bit more elaborate, um, just kind of fun to share, um, and unique, but I love this one. This was a minted piece and, um, this one opens up. Let me just see. Okay, this one, watch, kind of double parallels. That's kind of our fold of the day today. Double parallels open this way. I'll lift it up one sec. Um, and then opens up one more time. So this is a poster fold. So, um, so what's really nice about this is you get this nice big reveal and a really nice soft feel. So it folds down into a broadside and then it double parallels down and then fold and tab. So that's the mailing panel. So I love kind of taking a large sheet and being able to fold it down in a, an engaging way to reveal the information and also just a lot of real estate and a nice 
um, feeling. And what's nice is you can view this first spread this way. You can open it up and see this whole spread. And then you still get another big spread on the interior. Um, this is another one um, that basically, this one was not a self mailer, but I like the format. So um, this is another one that's a poster fold. So opens like this and then like this, and then like this. So you get this really nice, just a great reveal. I love how they kind of built up, added more products on this one. This one's almost a poster on its own, and then folds down again and down again. So another just great use of larger sheet, folded down, lots of real estate, beautiful saturated photography. Um, great, great use of space and also turning it into kind of a folded male friendly piece. Um, this is one that I loved from the, the collection of the Bolger formats. Um, this is a stitched mailer. This is a booklet. This is the mailing panel. This is Ann Taylor. Um, I love the short trim cover right here, but it also serves another uh, purpose. So when you open this, I love, this is just so nice how they put the, the gift card um, piece tipped onto that short panel. It's just, and I also, this is just the designer in me, um, but brilliant use of the directional, like her face is facing the gift card. This is just brilliant design. It's just like, look at the gift card. Um, great to put that right up front and then you open it up. They, um, this was designed with an extra short sheet in that was really nice. Um, but then this also has a few pages of really nice, um, you know, imagery and clothing and, and whatever, but just the design is outstanding on this. But I love the format and the way that this works. Um, the way that it's delivering the content, it's definitely an elevated experience, but also they didn't, they didn't hide the coupon at the end. You know, sometimes you see mailers and they kind of make you wait till the end to get the coupon and you can miss it. I think this is super smart to put it right there um, and to kind of have her direct your eye right to it. So um, just beautiful, beautiful. Um, let's see, I have, what else do I have? I just want to make sure I get to all the things before we open up questions. I have a few more things. A um, couple more uh, folded self mailers, a couple more larger format kind of postery things, um, and then a couple of packages, and then I can take some questions if everybody's ready. So, um, okay, so this one also I think was a higher ed um, folded self mailer. So it had a mailing panel back here. Um, tabbed on the top. And this one's nice because this one opens up like this, opens down like this. This technically is kind of a, it's, called a, it, it's a hybrid format really. Um, this is um, an iron cross open gate hybrid. So here's your open gate. But I just wanted to show you guys um, the focal points and the human connection because we've been talking a bit about that today. And I think it's kind of a nice one to, to go after the Ann Taylor piece because they use the human you know, the, the woman looking at the imagery. I think this is neat because they're making eye contact, they're full color, um, everything else is kind of sets back. And then they've got these little side panels that pull out and tells about this person. And this is a little pull out about this person, um, making a nice connection, telling a story. Um, and so this is just a nice, and this is a, you know, applying for scholarship type of a thing. So. I just thought this was a really nice um, kind of smaller folded self mailer piece. Um, this one also uh, is neat because this is a nice proportion, but you also get, this is a snake fold. Um, and so this is a modified snake. So snake folds are like roll folds that go all the way around. Um, there's lots of different variations on these, but this is neat because this is a folded self mailer and it goes down and then over and then down and then over. And so you can see here, I hope you can see kind of, yeah. So he, see how they did here we go. And so just, it's cool how the message traveled with it, the faces, the connection and the, the interesting way 
to open the piece up and to travel through it. So just kind of a fun um, thing that I wanted to show. This one's more on the specialty side. So was this one. Um, and I have one more that's more of a specialty, but depending on what you're sending and what type of an impact and um, who you're sending to, um, always fun to, to consider these types of um, specialized formats too. Um, this is this one is a, a favorite of mine. Um, actually, Boulder produced this one, and this is for MoMA Museum of Modern Art. And I love how simple this is. This is just a simple little twist movement. And what's neat about this one, I also could have, I guess, put this one in the gift card area. These are membership cards, but these are their little cuts right here, and the membership cards sit right in there. And so this is also neat. This one has a double card. You can do a single card. Um, just a really, really cool way to deliver um, something, especially if it's a very kind of a high-end loyalty program or, or something special. This definitely gives, um, and of course, this is MoMA. It's modern. It's, you know, uh, really, really cool. So I love that. So I just have a couple last pieces, and then we're going to go right to questions. Um, so this is, these are a couple of larger pieces. Um, that I wanted to share. If you've got a lot of content um, that you need to uh, get into a piece, this one was great because it's rectangular, it opens up. This is a stepped accordion and it's got steps in it and it's really just playing with the depth uh, and distance between the accordion folds. But you can see the amount of information that's in this. This is an entire like course schedule and it's all in this format and folded down and it's very organized with different tabs um i love that the, and then i'm just going to show one last one actually um this one i i love because of its simple kind of production friendly um format and also because it's really something that you can do a lot with so this piece opens like this so it's just got a basic trifold but that's my little post it um it has a short fold on either side here and you can play with the, the, the size the placement interior exterior you could do this on a gatefold on a trifold but what's neat is you get a, a reveal but i also love the little sneak peek imagery between and the gap between the short folds so um these can be folded by machine easy fun um i've seen these with book wraps all sorts of cool things so so yeah so i hope <laughs> that was a lot i know um uh, but I hope that uh, that was a lot of good ideas for everybody. And I'd love to take some questions if, um, if there are some questions for me. So it's fantastic. Thank you so much, Trish. It was amazing. In fact, I, I'm, you know, I'm actually feeling thirsty after watching that. Beard <laughs> for that, that was amazing. I know I've got my little water right here. I need to take a little <laughs> exactly. sip. Uh, you know, so many wonderful ideas. And for everybody that's, that's still on, thank you for attending. We are going to take a few uh, questions. And before we do that, I, I want to just share that we are going to package up a number of these designs. We will do a follow-up email to folks. And uh, when we do that, we're also going to include a couple of special offers because I know sometimes people can get a little intimidated by the cost potentially of, of uh, you know, dye lines. Mm -hmm. And some of these designs, while they're simple, they are going to require some dye lines. And we want to make sure to help. And the theme that you're going to hear strongly from Bolger, and, and one thing that we wish for everybody, is recover strong. We know that we're coming out of this together. We know that we've all been working from home and doing our thing and making the best of it. We want to help you recover strong. And we think that implementing some of the ideas here are going to be a fantastic way for you to do that. We want to help you. We want to make it easy. And our folks are ready to serve you well. So a couple of questions. The first one that popped up came out early on, Trish, it was, what is on the back of the red Netflix piece? Ah, okay, let me, it's in this pile, let's see. What is on the back of the red Netflix piece? Um, this was a self mailer, so it's just got an address and a little call out. Um, it says, uh, thanks for being a member, now your friends and family can enjoy free movies, and it says look inside for free movies. And that's got the little free movie peel off. So you give these to friends and it's kind of a friends and family promo. Perfect. 
Good, thank you, thank you. Sure. Next question, and I'm trying to grab, there's been, there's been a few. Um, let's see, what is your best low budget design tip? And I would add to that also for high volume. Okay, so um, my best low budget design tip, and this is the, I mean, for me, this is, this is the one that I think is the easiest to execute on and also creative and um, eye catching is the image trick. Image tricks are the easiest thing you can do on a low budget. Um, you don't even have to do a lot of, um, you know, extra production or whatever. So, you know, this, this is an example, this one where you're taking two images and having them interact with each other. Um, the one with the train with the doors that opened, um, super simple. Like think about as you're designing ways that you can use like dominant, like dynamic imagery to have it interact somehow. I've seen stuff done like, um, I love, I didn't even get to zip strips today. Does everybody know a zip strip, like a paper zipper kind of, the different ways to get into a piece? I've seen zip strips where there's like a question and then you pull the zip strip and the answer is what's revealed by the zip strip. Um, you can do so many kind of simple things either with typography or imagery with a reveal where you, know, you lift the flap and the image, the person's face goes from angry to happy, or, you know, there's something where like the, you know, the message reveal or something like that. Anything that kind of has a surprise reveal with imagery or type is like one of the absolute simplest things that you can do to um, get people curious and interacting and wondering what's going to happen next. So, so that as far as low budget stuff, um, it's definitely those types of, um, you know, creating that sense of curiosity and getting them to open or look or see an image change or something. 